Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement coming to you once again from the basement with the EK Phoenix series build. Now today what we're going to talk about is this radiator that I put in here. Some of the likes, dislikes, and maybe some of the things EK can do a little better so that their customers can customize or put the radiator into the case that they have a little more easily however you want to say it. you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when we dive into this okay now let's dive into the features here of the 360 Phoenix uh, rad and take a look at my likes and dislikes of what's going on with this particular uh, item here so uh, here's your power no big deal you have your power power plug here you put it in just like this and then you take the end and put it to your your power supply that's no big deal a uh, feature I do like that uh, this has it has a light a power light that tells you if your power is good going to the radiator uh, one of the things I do not like about this is the placement of this uh, actually with my cooler master master case 5 uh, as you saw in the beginning it comes up to about right here so I can't even see this light so there's I uh, there's a design flaw at least for my case and I can't imagine how many other cases that are out there that may have that because the only way you can orientate this radiator to have your your tubing go in is exactly this way so uh, there's there's a little bit of a design flaw there as far as I see it uh, next uh, just to the right of that uh, you have your TMP well that's very good that's nice uh, once again it's on the outside of where this is going to be put so you're you're wasting a lot of potential a cord by putting it outside then having to run it r right across here then into your case itself out to the motherboard I had some problems with that myself when I was put that in there I can reach the front fan and then uh, regulate stuff through that but I'd rather as recommended put it up to the CPU fan connection and have it regulated that way so uh, what I ran across was probably another six inches to 10 inches that would have made it uh, very convenient to uh, route the, P, the PMW uh, cable to the, um, to the motherboard, to the CPU uh, fan connection. Another thing, uh, well, let's, let's just move on here and right here here and here are your fan connectors for the pmw that's great fine and dandy uh, it works pretty well uh, i did have this up and running uh, for a little bit and then i found my problem with my motherboard uh, as mentioned in my previous video part two uh, so uh, there's your fan connections right there and then you have your pump uh, your pump is regulated by the PMW with your fans for this for the speeds but you can also disconnect this uh, from here and connect it to your motherboard now here's another thing that I'm not really happy about with this design is that on this rad if you can see this right here this screw is a hex screw which is no big deal I have hex uh, hex items around hex wrench to get it off of there but I have not been able to get them off of there on this particular one you can see where I've been trying and in order to move this this uh, particular PMW um, connector and put it to the motherboard like they say you can 
I have to remove those screws and I haven't been able to get them off yet, but I haven't really pushed it. I'm trying to preserve this uh, build until, you know, later when I may try to modify things a little bit. And when I say modify things a little bit, I'm talking about moving these fans uh, from a pull from inside the case to a push from outside to inside. Oh, so that I can get some fresh air from outside and do things in that manner. So that's that's my likes and dislikes of this particular rad. I do like the rad a lot. There you guys have it. Real quick overview of the 360 rad uh, from EK Phoenix uh, series and my likes and dislikes about that overview of that a uh, plain long enough cable for the power that is great i don't see how anybody can really mess that up but one of my big things about this uh, rad is that the actual pmw connector not reaching all the way up to uh, the cpu uh, pmw connection uh, I was probably between 6 and 10 inches short with this and it's one of the things that really uh, got under my nerves is because if you recommend for something to, do, to be done please make sure your customers can do it. Now one of the other things I found that you can do is you can remove the PMW a connection for the pump and regulate the pump with a separate fan connection or something like that uh, but what got in the way for that are the screws right here that are hex first of all and are very difficult to get off almost like EK does not want you messing with the uh, the fans themselves and that brings me to my last point. The last point is that the fans are in a pole configuration. In other words, poles from inside the case, which is already gonna be hot, and uh, you're cooling your radiator that way. I'd rather pull from the outside, which I think would be a lot cooler and be able to cool the uh, components a lot better and EK making that more difficult uh, by putting the hex screws on and putting them on really good is is just almost saying to me that they don't want you to messing to be messing with the configuration so with all that being said I'd like to say thank you for coming by taking a look at my video and do those things you guys do like dislike if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and hit that notification bell that notification bell is working it's definitely working on my uh, youtube account so uh, use those and this is chris saying out